Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Taurus and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So the cards I'm using will be a lot of the Marchetti decks. So this is the tarot. Oh, nice. <laughs> We have the Queen of Wands. Uh, this is the Tarot Grand Lux. I'll be using Karen Walker's Mermaid and Fairy Oracle cards. Angel Answer cards by Doreen Virtue and Marchetti's Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot. Okay, I think that's everything to remember. <laughs> okay, let's uh, pull another card. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for the week. Message for the week, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides for Taurus. Message for Taurus. We have discernment. Reading between the lines, getting to the truth of the situation, the heart of a situation. Okay, what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our Taurians. What does Taurus need to hear for the week? We have an energy of let go, Taurus, or an opportunity to let go here. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message and as always it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always message for taurus please angel spirits guides message for our lovely taurians 8th to the 14th of march 2021 what do we have for taurus thank you okay so four of swords in the challenge position i'm going to move those over slightly Advice from Spirit, very nice, Ace of Wands. And we have the Sun, Taurus, <laughs> the most positive card of the tarot deck. It is major arcana energy, big influential energy. Okay, so let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Taurus, please. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021, thank you. Message for Taurus. Message for Taurus. Okay. Let's clarify the cards on the table, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Shuffle one more time. Well, I'll do a couple more shuffles. If it doesn't fall out, I will choose Taurus. Thank you, it's, it's turned over. Okay, I've got the Three of Cups. Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands and the Sun, we have the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands here, Taurus. Okay. It feels that there is something here this week, Taurus, that, you know, this there's an, an energy. I mean, I've got the Ace of Wands here. I have the Queen of Wands holding the wand here as well. Somebody may be of influence in your life this week, offering you an opportunity. Now, that could be in terms of something to do with your heart and soul, your passions, your desires. Um, this could be you as your energy taking action towards that opportunity. That is what the Queen of Wands does. She is assertive energy. She understands how to go for something, but she trusts her instincts in terms of when the right time to act is. So some of you might be taking the lead of something because you feel it's the right time. Uh, she is a card of success, somebody in her power, 
somebody who takes control of a situation with confidence. Um, so either a person of influence, male or female energy, who is offering you something, or this is you taking action, opening some kind of new door. Now, the Ace of Wands is connected to our heart and soul, our passion, our desire. So this can be an offer, can be in terms of business, career, jobs even. It promises real growth. It can be linked to our passion. So love connections, heart and soul energy there. Um, opening a new door that way uh, or next level even. It, it feels in, in this situation, Taurus, I mean, it can be, you know, something that we're very passionate about. You know, I give the example of if you visited, you know, a county or a state where you feel aligned to, it might well be an exciting taking action to move there. You know, it can be that kind of energy as well. So it's just an opportunity, the Ace of Wands, of taking action towards making something that's very dear to your heart and soul happen. Um, and it can present itself as opportunity. There is something about discernment here, reading between the lines. And remember, the Queen of Wands, she acts when the time is right, when it feels right. She trusts her intuition. So there's definitely an energy here of any decisions or actions that you take. You'll know when the time is right to act. And it almost kind of feels that this, this new beginning is opening up when the right time is meant to be. You know, it feels that kind of energy. Um, be discerning, read between the lines. This is about getting to the very truth of a situation, the heart of a situation, maybe making some decisions or choices here. Um, but there is definitely this opportunity of letting go, releasing finally from something as well. So it feels quite powerful here. The Four of Swords... Taurus can be, it feels like you're, it feels exhausting energy, the Four of Swords in a challenged position. It feels like there is recovery here and there is going to be some kind of something to celebrate coming your way. And I feel it's to do with this Ace of Wands, whatever this Ace of Wands represents for you, something really exciting. Um, but it, it comes after a period of recovery or exhaustion can be some alone time as well in the challenge, challenge position with these cards too um, but it definitely feels in this energy Taurus that there will be closure to a situation it will allow you to bring closure to a situation recover and move on from something but it has been a process and it has been a challenge to see the way forward and finally bring closure to a situation Remember, the Three of Cups is a card of, it can be a card of celebration. It can be a card of people giving you emotional support and guidance as well. People around you who are connected to your heart energy. Um, but it's also a card of the winter is over, the spring is here. Uh, this is a time for you to reap rewards. It feels that I'm definitely getting this exhaustion energy or burnout energy working hard because you've definitely been overwhelmed you've definitely been overwhelmed in a situation um but remember the two of pentacles says even though that you have felt overwhelmed you've had a lot on your plate to deal with this was well within your grasp sometimes you see somebody juggling and dancing at the same time they're not dropping a pentacle it's well within your capability to, to deal with, your practical capability, knowledge, focus. The message is just keep on prioritizing, um, doing what you're doing. Because for some of you, it is bringing in this exciting new beginning, this exciting new door that's opening for you in the form of some opportunity that's very much connected to your heart and soul. So it's a beautiful energy of that's given to you by the hand of God, the divine, the universe, very much connected to your destiny. What you're focusing on is the right thing to focus on as well, I have to say, because that's how you're going to bring the good things into your life. Um, you know, there's an element of Jupiterian energy with the two of pentacles. So good things want to come in. 
And even though it feels a little bit overwhelming, whether you, even though you don't feel it at the time, there is expansion and growth coming your way. So I definitely feel that with that Ace of Wands, something exciting coming your way, an exciting opportunity. And it is, and I'm definitely feeling it's presented by somebody of influence in your life. I mean, like I said, this is either you taking action or somebody of influence. The Queen of Wands can be fire energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, generally Aries for me as a reader, um, or somebody who embodies the principles of who she is, you know, confidence, a natural leader, a go-getter, an intuitive energy, intuitive action. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely feeling for some of you, even though there has been exhaustion, burnout even, a lot on your plate, the opportunity, it will be so worth it. It's going to be worth it. That's what I'm feeling. It's going to be worth it. Because five of wands can be a card of conflict. It can be a card of um, competition as well so again whatever this ace of wands represents for you if you've been competing for something it feels like you're going to be successful to do with an opportunity um i mean that could be in terms of jobs that could be in terms of you know a hobby it could be sports you know for example um but there's definitely some kind of opportunity that you're getting that's very much connected to your heart and soul here that you have been going for and it definitely feels in this energy with this eight of cups you're turning your back it feels for some of you you're turning your back on finally whatever this represented for you either struggle or competition the eight of cups it can be about turning your back on something that's not needed anymore because it served its purpose um, you're ready for the nine of cups when you, need, you know you get to the eight of cups it's kind of like I've got to this level of experience I've overcome the test and challenge I'm ready to move on now it can also be about disappointment as well so again whatever it represents for you Taurus it's feeling in this energy this period of being up against it is going to be over because the sun card is about positive energy growth energy restoration energy healing energy feel good energy things are about to get so much better this can be good news celebration joy happiness and again it's just it feels like what you've been working towards the celebration it feels for some of you that it's here and it feels it's in the form of this opportunity being presented to you good news celebration joy happiness um and the sun is a card of new growth. It's also a card of, it is a card of awakening. You know, you having learnt, again, having evolved from whatever this experience was, um, almost kind of like evolving to that higher state of spiritual awareness or consciousness. I mean, it is a, an awakening card, the sun card. It can be a card of overcoming obstacle, overcoming, uh, releasing, letting go of whatever you need to let go of because you're ready to step into your light. But it's the higher state of your light. You know, it's, it's, it's a greater self-awareness of self. Um, so I definitely get with this energy. I mean, this is the sun is shining on you. Yeah, you're definitely heading for better times. There's definitely new growth here. The sun is also a card of success. So absolutely some kind of opportunity that's linked with success here. Finally coming your way. After a period of, I'm definitely getting burnout exhaustion in this reading. There is a message to be discerning here. But I definitely get this energy here, Taurus. And it might well be that is that four of swords because that can be about getting the real clarity getting real truth in how you move forward. It's a card of re-strategizing, re-evaluating, re-looking at something. So I definitely getting this energy here that you're getting a new level of clarity with that Four of Swords. In periods of recovery, we do get the new level of clarity to, to see how to move forward. Um, but it feels like it's been an exhausting journey, but nevertheless, it feels it's about to get so much better for you. Beautiful card to have in your outcome. 
Okay. So final message for Taurus. Final message for Taurus, please. Yeah. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Interesting. And it's interesting because we're approaching spring quite quickly, aren't we? So it definitely feels that spring is your time for this new opportunity to appear. Um, absolutely just keep on doing what you're doing. Because whether you know it or not, it is absolutely going to make the difference. It feels very beautiful, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.